recorded service of the First Baptist Church in Massachusetts on Sunday, August 20th. For those who are present, I invite you to stand for our call to worship. Please stand. The words of the psalmist unite our hearts and guide us as we enter into God's courts and into his presence with praise and thanksgiving. Hear the word of the Lord. Behold, how good and pleasant it is when sisters and brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life for everyone. Come, let us worship the Lord. Together we praise God. And as we praise you, we also 
recognize that we, with thanksgiving, can present our petitions before you. We look at our world, we see your glory. We look at our world and we see the abundance of your blessings. We look at the world and we see the strain and the struggle in so many different arenas. The extreme weather that is being experienced across our nation, in our community, and around the world. Pour out your grace and your healing for those who are suffering, even as we pray now. May they know your presence. We invite you to reveal that your grace can be always sufficient for everyone's needs around the world. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we pray for our world and the stresses and strains, we know also the struggle of power. Power that is reflected within war and conflict. Power that is reflected within political systems. We seek to be informed as your children. We seek to be faithful as citizens within this nation. At the same time, we pray that you would raise up leaders that are committed first and foremost to justice, to solving problems that would really reflect the best, not only for local communities, but really for the community that we call the global environment, where all peoples around the world essentially have the same need for fundamental truths in their lives, justice, sufficient food, sufficient housing. And we pray not only for the leaders of our nation, but for nations around the world, that there would be a renewed commitment to faithfulness and justice and policy that serves the people. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also know that as we petition these global uh, concerns that we carry, it's a way of focusing our hearts and inviting you to continue to manifest your power, your grace, and your love. At the same time, we celebrate because we know that with thanksgiving, we can present our personal petitions as well. Therefore, we praise you for healing within our faith community. We praise you for healing through surgery for Judy and for Jay. We also faithfully and persistently lift up those who need your tender care in a special way. Therefore, we remember Miriam, and Barbara S., Eleanor, Dory, Carol, Louisa, Tyler, Teddy, and Sandy. Gracious God, these are some of the names of people known and some who are known simply by their name within our church family. And we lift them up because we know you call them by name and that you know all the details of their life. You know what they need the most now. So we pray for healing and we pray not only for healing, but most important, as they and their families journey forward, that they would know personally the gracious and loving presence of a God holds them in the palm of their hand and will walk with them, healing, strengthening, filling them with love themselves. Lord, unite us now as we offer the prayer that we give as we remember the prayer that you taught your disciples by saying, Our Father, who art in 